What's up, y'all? I hope everyone's having a great Friday. Uh, Jared Sandler with you. Some more Rangers conversation. Uh, starting with uh, around the holiday season uh, in 2021, I started tweeting not quite every single day, but most days, just a, a Rangers nugget or a fact or something to uh, whet the appetite as we get excited for the 2022 season, especially right now, still in the middle of the lockout. There's just not a lot of baseball dialogue going around. So I wanted to try and uh, provide some and uh, starting to accompany these tweets with videos, maybe expanding on the tweet or uh, just creating a little conversation. So today tweeted about Justin Foskey at Jared Sandler on Twitter. Uh, Foskey was a first round pick of the Rangers in 2020 out of Mississippi state infielder uh, went on an absolute tear for high a hickory uh, had a 20 game stretch right before his promotion to double a Frisco in which he hit 370. Uh, he had a slugging percentage of just under a thousand an OPS of uh, almost 1500 thanks in part to 13 home runs over that 20 game stretch, including a run of seven home runs or seven straight games with a home run, eight home runs over that seven game home run streak. I and mean, it was outstanding. And it's, it's frankly the type of stuff you want to see out of a guy who was a first round pick, a college player playing at high a uh, Foskey then went to double a. And I imagine that uh, this upcoming season, after the experience he got at double a Frisco last year, he'll either start there or, he might even start it in AAA, but he advanced. Uh, he pl played for three different teams last year, started just very briefly in the Arizona League, uh, Hickory, Frisco. Frisco, he only played 26 games, uh, ended up hitting 250 uh, after a slow start, started to get things going a little bit. So because of that, they might want him to repeat Frisco at least to begin the year. But what I really wanted to talk about is uh, the depth the Rangers have developed uh, in their farm system amongst infielders. And I think this is great for a number of reasons. One, obviously, the more prospects you have, the, the better off you are, the, the more chances you have that one of them, two of them, three of them, however many hit and, and end up being productive players for you. Uh, I think that gives you flexibility when it comes to the trade market, especially now as the Rangers are transitioning back into a team that has its eyes on competing, even if, it, you know, not going for gold, so to speak, this year. Uh, the Rangers, and hey, what if they expand the playoffs uh, to, to 14 teams? You know, it could be a team that is competing for a playoff spot. Certainly a team, though, as we've seen already with the moves this offseason, in the business of getting better and, and adding at the major league level. And so depth in the minor league system gives you opportunities to make moves to help out the major league team in the trade market. And then another thing that we've talked about, it's been a theme, I just think job competition is huge. Uh, not to say that player A – without any job competition, is not going to work hard and push himself. I just think there's a little something extra, a little extra gear you can find when uh, you're surrounded by other very capable players at your position or position group, and the Rangers have that. Uh, infield is uh, such a tremendous source of strength in their system, You know, whether it's Josh Young and, and Justin Foscue. You know, I don't know how people want to characterize uh, Sam Huff, but let's just focus on guys who can play third, short, and second. Sam Huff. Uh, probably if he's not a catcher, probably a first baseman. But third baseman, second baseman, shortstop, you got Young, you got Foscu, you got Josh Smith, who was acquired at the trade deadline. You got Ezekiel Duran, who was acquired. You got Luis Angel Acuna, who the Rangers signed a few years ago, who keeps progressing and is now 19 years old. Maximo Acosta, uh, same thing, a guy the Rangers signed internationally. Davis Wenzel, remember, uh, he was picked right after Josh Young. He was a high pick. Uh, Trevor Hover, who was acquired at the deadline last year, can play a little outfield, also can play second base. Uh, Cameron Colley, uh, an 18-year-old the Rangers uh, selected recently. Dustin Harris, who can play the corner, so first base, but also third base. Uh, you got Shirton Apostle, uh, you know, to, to the extent that the Rangers still view him as a, a, a potential asset of the future who can play third. Uh, and, you know, that's not to mention guys who – those are just guys and, and, you know, right around the top 30 – for the Rangers, uh, that doesn't even include guys who really were selected here maybe last year, the year before, uh, who have the ability to very quickly enter uh, those ranks. But the, the depth the Rangers have there is tremendous. And, you know, is Josh Young going to work out? Will Justin Foskey work out? Will uh, Josh Smith work out? I mean, don't know, right? It, it, even the, the surest things, uh, they don't work out, or maybe it takes them a while to work out, right? You know, you could have this big time prospect and it might still take them a couple years, even after they're knocking on the door at the major league level. You just never know. But as we've talked about, the analogy 
playing darts, uh, your odds of hitting a bullseye if you've got one dart, not as great as if you got 10 darts, right? And you, you just want out of your prospects, you'd love in each position group to hit a bullseye. You know, if you get one bullseye outfield or one bullseye infield or maybe one, you know, middle one corner, if you want to really be uh, optimistic and, and one bullseye catcher, all of a sudden, you know, you, you can build around that. And that's, if you, you don't even need bullseyes in every position group, uh, you know, to, and, and by bullseyes, I mean like a no doubt everyday player, uh, you get some, you're going to be in a good spot and the Rangers are putting themselves uh, in a good spot by accruing as many darts. And, and a dart to me is not just any random person who plays that position, right? If the Rangers signed me to a contract today and said, Hey, you know, you're going to play second base, even though that would never happen. I'm a lefty. It would never happen. I'm not good enough. There's a million reasons why it would never happen. But point is, I'm not a dart, right? I, I, I'm not good enough to be a dart uh, in this analogy. The Rangers have darts. They've got more darts now than they've had in a long time. Guys who really could hit that bullseye. They're not all going to. Most of them won't. But the more you have, the more opportunities you have to hit that bullseye. And Justin Foskey is a part of a really impressive collection of darts that the Rangers have. Uh, amongst their their infield crop of prospects.